What's up guys, the Apple device here. Today I'll be showing you how to fix errors 1600, 1602, or 1, those type of errors. If you keep getting 1600 something, I'll show you guys how to fix that. So what you need, first off, is tiny umbrella, a USB cable, of course, and iFaith. I'll have all the download links down below for tiny umbrella and iFaith. So you want to first off open up tiny umbrella. I'll actually run it as administrator. Okay, and um, what you want to do is plug in your device. My device was previously plugged in, so um, I'll just find it. After you found it, you want to go ahead and click Save SHSH right here. Save SHSH. Click on that after you found the device that keeps getting this error, and after you found it and it clicked it, It'll start to load here on the bottom. After that loads, it'll it'll would have saved your SHSH. Once it's saved your SHSH, what you have to do is put your phone or iPod or iPad into a pwned state. That's what iFaith will help you with. So you open up iFaith. Okay. And then uh, just click right here, the, the last one, iReb. And no, mine's not an Apple TV. You want to start off by following these instructions. After you follow them, it'll would have pwned your device. Okay, now it's pwning my device. It's pwned, so it's pretty much black screen, and uh, iTunes has detected it. Those are two two ways to know for sure that it's pwned. And once it's pwned, you do not want to open up iTunes. What you want to do is navigate to sys to Windows System 32 Drivers ECT right there I'll have that in the links description just to make it easier on you guys and you want to open the very first file it's the host file so uh, just open it up with no notepad doesn't matter and what you want to paste in here is um, you want to delete everything that says GS dot apple dot com so everything here I'll focus it for you guys everything that has this right here in the end so I'll delete both of these fields right here and what you want to paste is this make sure it's identical I'll have it in the link's description so you can just copy and paste once you've pasted in there go ahead and uh, cancel it or save it actually after it's saved I'll go ahead and just double check make sure that I've done everything good okay once you um, have it all good here you wanna open up iTunes if iTunes was open while you were doing this you wanna close it and reopen it so um, it has detected my iPhone or iPod Touch that it's in recovery mode. That's good. I gotta make sure I have a black screen. So if I have a black screen and it and iTunes has detected it, that means I have pwned it with iReb. So what you wanna do now is uh, <clears throat> restore it. But you wanna shift restore. So you you'll also need to download your IPSW file for that certain device for the so software file that a the SHSH was saved for. So uh, if you don't know what SHSH is, I'll have a link right here on um, what SHSH is. You can, can go ahead and click on that link and it'll show you guys how to save it and so on. Uh, you've just saved it. I showed you guys that was what Tiny Umbrella did. And uh, once it saves it, it shows you guys a list of all the SHSHs saved. And uh, you, can you can upgrade or downgrade to any one of those softwares. And the one that I'm going to be doing is 5.0.1. And it saves it for the most up-to-date software too. So that's the one I'm uploading, updating to right now. iPod Touch 4G 5.0.1. Open, restore, and now iTunes will restore it.
Okay guys, so I've re successfully restored and I'll just show you guys that I was 5.0.1 right there. Successfully worked. I tried numerous t times. I tried just using iRab without without Tiny Umbrella it didn't work. So uh what so you you got to make sure you use both. Make sure you edit the file in um System 32. Uh I'll have all, all that information down below. Just follow this this video and uh, so what this pretty much does is just redirects you to, to Sarek server when verifying the software. So the problem is that for whatever reason Apple does not let you verify the software. This just redirects it to the Sarek server so it lets you verify the software and then it lets you restore. So that's just a quick little thing. Um, yeah, so guys, um, rate, comment, subscribe. I have a giveaway going on right now. Check that out. If you have an iTunes gift card that you're not using, I'd be glad to have one. And quick thing, uh, if, if you know how to make wallpapers for YouTube channels, I really need a good wallpaper, so just hit me up. Thanks, guys, for everything, and see you guys in the next video.